Hi, I would like to show you how to crochet this uh, lovely poncho. As you can see, it is the 3D Aran knitted Aran poncho. You can either wear it with a V, V neck, or you can wear it as a crew neck slide it this way and uh, have it wear it like this this way the sleeves will be up to your wrist look like this when you turn it to a crew neck. And here is a white one I have knitted. This uh, I used satin uh, bare nut yarn. This is how you wear it as a v-neck. You can pull it down a little bit. Satin yarn is very soft, like a baby yarn. So, this is how it looks with a crew neck, and this is how it looks when it's a V neck. As you can see, the shape is like a V when you turn it to a V neck. When you turn it to a crew net neck, the sleeves are longer, and the back and front is shorter due to this. Uh, due to this length. Okay, I'm going to show you how to knit this 3D Aran poncho. It is done in two pieces. So let's get started. We're going to be using a Super Saver worsted yarn. I'm using a uh, it's about 198 gram of yarn. I'm going to be using two ply. So I, I bought four of this to uh, knit the poncho. And it, this color is carrot. And um, on this particular yarn, I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter needle. It's, uh, it's pretty thick. So like I said, it's 198 gram or 364 yards or 333 meter. Uh, there's going to be a little bit left over after we finish this. You can use it for other of your projects. But uh, I'm going to be two plying to give that nice thick uh, air and look of the of the yarn. So we need to cast on a total of 49 stitches. So this is how I do it. I go like this, the two. This is two stitches. And I hold it, and this is the end. This is the end of my yarn, and I'm going to be going like this one, two. It gives that nice look, that pearl look. So I'm holding my yarn. I'm going down, up, grab it from here, take it back. It's one stitch. What I'm doing is going underneath, grabbing it again. 
You don't have to do it this way. This is how I do my uh, cast on. You can do which, whichever you wish. It works with two. This way it works with two stitches at a time. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Twenty, so twenty nine to go. Four, six, eight, ten. When we cast on, it's always tight, and then it will loosen up the more you continue to knit. Forgot my counting again. <laughs> Go back and count. It has to be exactly 49 stitches to make the pattern that I'm making. Six, I think this is eight. I'm going to go back and count again. Okay, so oops, I think it's fifty. So we need to remove the last two. I'm going to go back and count again. Forty-eight, and the last stitch, because we when I uh, cast on two, it works by two, two, right? So for the last stitch, I just for one, if it's odd stitch, I just do it like that. Okay. Um, the reason I counted over and over, because uh, we're uh, we're going to be working with two ply, I didn't want you know miscount one and then have it wrong. So uh, for the first stitch. We're just going to purl. Uh, I'm sorry, just knit, just a regular knitting. Knitting, just, just. Just knit the first two rolls. Continue knit this way and then come back and knit again. Just two rolls and well, I'll be back. I have knitted the uh, two rolls, so you can see the two sides are looking pearl. When you do knit this one side and then the right side and the wrong side, if you knit, you, you get pearl stitches. Okay, we're going to start uh, creating the pattern. Okay, so just continue knitting. total of nine stitches so that's one two 
So yeah, just be careful when we're knitting with two ply, you always miss the other yarn and then you end up unraveling and starting all over again. We don't want to do that, so just be careful. Uh, work. This yarn is so soft. It's like working with clouds. <laughs> Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And we're going to continue. Um, unfortunately, yeah, for this roll, we're going to be knitting all the way. This is going to be the right of the work. So continue. It's supposed to be nine knitting. And this nine stitches of knitting is going to be looking like pearl. And the next nine sets of uh, knitting that we're going to be knitting is going to uh, be the, the cable stitch. But we need to uh, knit about two more rolls and then start the cable okay so continue about another nine continue continue to knit all the way to the end continue and then I'll be right back and we'll start with the wrong side we're at the wrong side of the work now so continue uh, knitting total of nine stitches so this is one two three four <laughs> be careful four five six seven eight and nine two four six eight nine and we're going to be purling total of nine stitches. One, two, see I got the one, one of the yarn, the other yarn is underneath, so let's try it one more time. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and nine. This is going to be the cable stitch. Now we're going to be knitting total of 13 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, two, And 13, okay. Just want to count these last stitches again. What's ever left? There's 16 here. Okay, what did we do wrong? So I'm just going to go back and count over and over. We have to have nine, nine left. So 18, two stitches is missing. I must have miscounted here. Yeah, I did extras here. The eight and the six. <laughs> okay, put these back. And we're going to be knitting 
all these stitches. Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not knitting. We knitted this because this is going to be the uh, the purl stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to be purling nine stitches. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So the last nine stitches, four, six, eight, nine, just per, uh, just knit them. I am sorry, I don't want you to be confused, but we have to be very careful counting the first uh, row to set the foundation of the pattern. So. So what we do is we need a total of nine purl stitches, nine cable stitches, 13 purl stitches, nine cable stitches, and again, nine purl stitches. So this is going to be the right side of the work. So continue, continue, purl, uh, I'm sorry, knit, <laughs> knit nine stitches. You continue knitting this. This is all we do is knit. And then when, when we're at the back, we're going to be knit nine stitches, purl nine stitches, knit 13 stitches, purl nine stitches, and then knit nine stitches. And I'll meet you back, so continue knitting all the way on the right side and when you're on the wrong side knit purl knit purl knit and I'll meet you back here and we're going to start doing the cable the cable stitch okay this is the right side of the work uh, continue knitting not total of nine stitches two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, for the nine stitches that we have knit here, we're going to be working on the cable stitch. So I'm just going to grab one of my crochet uh, hooks that I have. If you have a cable needle, you're welcome to use that one the moment I don't have it with me so what we need is we need a total of three stitches total of three stitches but I need to put this at the back so we're just gonna leave it here just forget a little while until we knit so we're just gonna put those back there they're hidden that back there and then we're going to be knitting a total of three stitches so two and three and we're going to be knitting those three stitches that we had hit at the back so just pull it like that so one two three okay sorry about that my phone rang <laughs> can't put a stop to that so we did uh, uh, we did the th uh, six total of stitches here and the remaining just continue to knit and if you look at it you'll see that uh, the three stitches that we hide it from the back is on the back and this one is on the front so there's like a X it's like a X well this way the other side it's, it's, it's like a X like that and we're going to be knitting total of total of uh, 13 stitches one two three four five six six seven eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, and 13. Okay, we're going to be doing the same thing as we did here. The cable stitch and the next set of cable stitches are going to be going from here. I did a card again uh, uh, used doing the same pattern and it turned out beautifully. I'm going to be knitting pretty soon. This is for a customer. It's going to fly to California. She ordered about six ponchos for me. So this is the one she wanted uh, for herself. It's a burnt orange and this is the closest color I found. So I will be knitting a cardigan. And I okay, after knitting four rows, this would it would look like this. So we're going to be doing a cable stitch on this row. Continue knitting the nine stitches. And on the cable row, continue knitting the first three stitches. Remember at the beginning we did this one, now we're going to be doing this side to give that beaded look, breaded look. Okay, so grab the three next stitches. This time this is going to be staying on the front. So continue knitting the next three stitches. From here we're going to be knitting these three stitches that are on the front. This is I'm sorry, went down. Okay, I'll go back. So continue knitting this next three stitches. When I am knitting, I kind of go down and then you can't see what I'm knitting. I do apologize. Okay, so this is how it would look. This would be like an X from here and this would be up here. So this is how we start, three knit, this front roll is always knitted, the back is three knit, I'm sorry, nine knit, nine purl, thirteen knit, nine purl, nine knit. And then when we're turning our back, every four, four rows we, we do the cable stitch. So this is set of one that we have done. So like at the first one we did was we grabbed the three stitches and we put it on the back and then continue knitted this one and then continue knit, uh, and then put, started knitting the three stitches that we had it at the back and continue knitting, knitting the last three stitches. So you go back and forth four times and this time you knit the three stitches, put the three stitches on the front continue knitting the next three stitches and then knit the three stitches that were on the front. This is one of the cable stitch. So continue knitting. I'll show you one more time here how we do it. Continue knitting the next uh, 13 stitches. The front the uh, the right work that is facing you is always knit so to never get confused and when you're doing the wrong side you knit you purl you knit you purl I will try to write instructions below so uh, you will not get confused okay so continue knitting the first three stitches that are on the cable Knit that we're going to be doing. Grab your needle as to knit. Just move it to the three stitches to the next needle. Have it on the front. Continue knitting the, uh, the next three stitches. And continue knitting the ones that you had on your needle. It's very simple and easy, nothing confusing. And continue knitting all the way to the end. I am going to show you the, the, the part that I finished. This is the one I finished earlier. Okay. 
what I'm trying to say is this is one set and every four rows you start doing the, the cable stitch so you had the first three stitches on the back here and the next three stitches on the front and you need another four row and you continue doing that like this like that continue repeating on both sides and this is how it looks I have not blocked this, blocked this one yet but as you can see it looks like a 3D looks great I knit this one about 30 inches long and about uh, 18 inches wide so it really depends on how big you are this will fit sizes from small medium large even extra large it is your own preferral you can have it as big as you want if you want to have it bigger wider and longer continue knit as long as you want and if you want it wider just add a couple of stitches this was nine stitches add up to 15 or 13 here you can increase it a little bit more 13 you can add you know as big if you want to have it bigger you can make your own but this is my own pattern that I have made up it's very easy and simple and this is the leftover from the two balls that I started so you're going to be having a little bit of leftover here are the two pieces I have knitted I'm going to be blocking this to give it a a better look to relax the knit and here I'm just going to grab my Rowan Tug Locker just a little bit not too much just to give it a little relaxation wanted to show you how it looks after the blocking this is the one I just blocked and this is before I just blocked it a little bit to relax the knits the stitches it does get a bit bigger as you can see looks funny after before after look Okay, so I'll come back after I've locked this one. These two are maroon color. And I have blocked these. As you can see, it looks great. When you block, it looks like store-bought. And the stitches relax a bit. Okay, with these two pieces that I said earlier, you needed two pieces of this. So I'm going to show you how we're going to be making this poncho. What I do is, uh, here we go. So we're going to be sewing. I use the, we're going to be sewing like this. One facing up, one facing side. So sew these two together and I'll meet you back. I just wanted to show you how I am sewing. I am using the mattress stitch sewing technique. So what I do is I grab I grab two two layers from here like this. You can see the two two stitch. And I grab the two, the next two from the bottom. I just pull it. So continue doing it, and you will have a perfect sewing technique. I have sewed. This is how it would look like. 
This is the one piece, and this is the other piece. So we sewed this other piece on top of the side of the other piece, and we're going to be sewing, and we're going to be sewing this side from the side, the top of the other piece. And then when we do that, it's, this is going to become a V-neck up here. Or, like I said earlier, you can change it to a, change it to a crew neck. And this is how it looks like. I haven't done the fringes fringes yet. This is sewed from one side. This is sewed from the other side. This is the v-neck look. And this is the crew neck look. Thank you very much for watching my tutorials. If you have any comments, please leave them below or send it to my inbox. Please share it with your family and your friends. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.